Welcome back, 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 back. Welcome back to My Bella Blessing. I am Lynn behind the camera and in front of the camera are some cute dolls. Why? Because this is a doll, AKA my hobby channel. Yes, it is. And I give you the ins and out of my hobby. So listen, y'all come on in, hey. Come on in with Lynn. Come on in, hey. Come on in with Lynn and see what we got going on on today. Hey, 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 on this beautiful Sunday fun day. Y'all, on today, y'all, on today, y'all, I am just giving y'all a line up of all the babies that was featured in my video for this week. Okay, let's go down the line here, you guys. So we get into this video. This here is Little Miss Praise here. This here for right now, he is baby Troy. And we're gonna come back to her. Right here is my little Brave. Hey Brave, hey there. And right here we have Baby Juju. Like his auntie say, Baby Jubilee, AKA Juju. Now coming back to her, I put a bow on her head. This is the giveaway baby, so that's why she's still kind of wrapped up in the blanket because I haven't done anything with her other than put the bow on her head because I don't want to handle her too much because she will be the giveaway baby that I will be giving away. She will be coming with this COA, and you guys, we are almost there. Um... I'm going to say almost. Yeah, I can say almost. We are almost there at 1,000 subscribers. Once we reach that goal, we will most definitely be gifting her to a new home. So she'll be, she's excited. Look at her. She's excited to go to her new home. So once we get to that 1K, yeah. She'll be on her way. <laughs> exactly. So move these babies out the way and flip this camera around and let's get into this video. Happy Sunday fun day. I am so glad you guys are here. I am here to share why I love being a reborn mom. This was a video prompt from none other than my sweet dolly sis, Nicole over at Special Angel Art Dolls. She is hosting a giveaway and the prompt is to make a video and share why you love being a reborn mom. However, before we get into that, I, I want to share my little chosen here. She is the Tobiah by Laura Lee Eagles. I figured I would come on with one of um, Laura Lee Eagles scopes because I will be giving away a Laura Lee Eagle Reborn um, doll and a gift away. Once I reach 1K, that's 1,000 subscribers. I want to thank each and every one of you all who have shared and also sent people over. I see you new subscribers. Yes, I see you guys. You are seen. You are noticed. You are valid. You are, most importantly, you are loved. You are loved over here, my Bella Blessing. That's one thing we like to do. We love to share and we spread love. So, but let's get into what Little Miss Chosen is wearing on the day. She got on her Sunday's best. Y'all see, we twinning. Twinning and winning. Yes, we are twinning on today. She have on her little pearl necklace here with her red dress with the little black bow going around the waist area. And she has on these little ruffled black and white socks with the black panel leather shoes with the bow on them. And get into her hair bows, you guys. Her hair bows say, I love Jesus. Um, her auntie, Auntie Katie, gave us these hair bows. They're absolutely adorable because we do love Jesus. And we want it to be a statement piece. You know, hey, we want, we want to let people know, right? Yeah. So, okay, let's get into this tag on why I love being a reborn mom. And the thing is, even if you're just a dolly mom, does not necessarily have to be a reborn. You can still participate. I will pin the rules to the giveaway in this um, video. And I will also leave a link 
to Nicole's channel on this um, video as well. But let's get into it, you guys. I wanted to let you guys know, um, first and foremost, I'm a collector of a variety of dolls. Most of you all know, if you've been here for a while, that I collect. <laughs> I collect Action Drake, Paradise Galleries, Reborn Dolls, Barbie Dolls, Rainbow High Dolls, Annette Hemstead, Lee Middleton, if... Um, yeah, I collect just a variety of dolls, Cabbage Patch dolls. I have so many that I probably can't even list all of the dolls that I do collect, BJD. They just come to my head as I um, think about it. Glitter Girls, yes. But I collect, I really do, I really do collect a lot of variety of dolls. But out of all of my dolls, I truly believe that the Reborns are probably my favorite doll. Um, I love all of them, don't get me wrong. But um, being a reborn mom is um, definitely fun. It's exciting. And the reason why it is so fun and exciting is because I get to meet great people like you. I reside in Georgia, but I get to meet people all across the globe, all across, across the map that I wouldn't even imagine that I have the opportunity to talk to, to interact with, to connect with. So that connection is so phenomenal and to have people that is are interested in the things that you are interested in. So it is just a delight. Um, to meet new people. It is a breath of fresh air to see other people's collection. And then I have uh, my collection. Sometimes we do twinning with our cousins and things of that nature. So in that self, with that connection, you begin to build friendships. So you begin to build friendships. And I truly am thankful for every, every friendship that I, every friend that I have made, every friendship that has been created just out of this hobby alone. Just, I, I just absolutely love it. Um, so definitely the connection with other people. And then after the connection will definitely be the creativity. This hobby, being, well, I'll, being a reborn mom brings out so much creativeness in all of us. Whether you make pacifiers, make bottles, make bracelets, make necklaces, make some type of clothing, hair bows, just pacify clips, just whatever it is. I just see so many creatives within the community and it, it begins to, even the ones, the artists that paint, I, I love um, that these dolls are made, I mean, they're, they're the most innocent form of art. We were all made in God's image and these dolls are made in the image of God's creations, which is babies. I mean, this innocent piece of artwork, how could you not love it? But no, they think that I like being a reborn mom because I just want to scare the heck out of you. Most people just think we just want to scare them. We just want to creep them out. But you know, hey, if, if that's the reason, if you think so, then let it be, let it be. Because sometimes I do get a kick out of just seeing how somebody may react when they see these dolls. It, it makes me laugh. They be like, whoa, what is that? Like, what is happening here? So, yeah, so when somebody just happens to um, get to um, visit your page, don't know what's going on, they sink down into the rabbit hole, hole but they what happens is, they become intrigued and then they'll just start looking and they'll start thinking like, what? And then, you know, the thing is, when they can't wrap their mind around it, that means that mm, it's just wrapped so perfectly. So don't get offended. <laughs> just don't get, um, you don't even have to respond. You don't have to do any of those things. Just continue to do you, do you, boo. But yeah, so that um, definitely is the reasons why I love being a reborn mom. Also, definitely last but not least, I love being a reborn mom because as well, these dolls are therapeutic. And I can use this for a very good example for the ones who um, know about the tragic loss of my little cousin that was over a week ago. And we'll be having his memorial services on this coming Sunday on the 22nd, May 22nd. However, um, let me just tell you this. Last week, I made a video almost every day last week. And it helped me get my mind off of 
the tragic loss, even if it was just for a moment. We have to know how to enjoy those moments. Every second of the day counts. And we have to learn how to um, continue to make memories, continue to find joy in the mix of even in our morning state. So I just thank God that, you know, I was able to, even if I just walked in my escape room, because I call it my escape room, because I can escape reality. I can escape what is going on in the world. I can escape the, um, just any type of bad news, any, anything that's going on in CNN, anything that may be going on at work. Sometimes I just peep in my escape room, my AKA doll room, game room, play room. I peep in, I, yeah, it's, it's just the finest, all of those things. It's, that's what I call it. But I peep in there. And when I go in there, sometimes I just look at the dolls and I just smile. If I don't pick up a doll, it, it's times where time pass and I don't touch a doll for a while. But what I will tell you, as long as I know that they're there, it sets off that serotonin on the inside of me, that joy bubble that's on the inside of me. And it just makes me smile just by seeing this artwork, by seeing my doll. Sometimes when I just look at my Barbie shelf and I look at them and I just like, you know what, Mattel, you did that. You did that. But so, so I could just look at the reborn doll and just begin to smile, just begin to smile. And sometimes I look at them and I, I even say, you know, God, that you are good because you have these creative beings out here. You have these artists out here that can bring a blank scope to life, to reborn life. So I know somebody asked a question too. And I think I saw this on um, Instagram that is, about what well, do the doll love you back? They was trying to be sarcastic in their question. And what I will tell you is that energy is transferred. So if you love a thing, if you love the doll, then the doll will give you that love back. Yeah, I know that these dolls do not replace human beings. Don't get me wrong for one second. But what I will tell you that these dolls does not do, they will not talk back to you. They will not hurt you. They might hurt your pockets, but <laughs> that's still a decision that we make. We make that decision on how much we want to spend on the reborn doll. So they do not hurt you. They do not harm you. They do not talk back, back to you. They do not slap you. They do not kick you. They do not bite you. They can't talk bad about you. They can't do any of those things because you know what? They're innocent. They're innocent. So that's another reason in itself. And that is how they give you love back because the energy now is transformed. It's transformed and now you're getting back what you put into it. You're getting back when you look at it, you're getting that joy bubble to rise up on the inside of you because you're looking at this artwork and now something on the inside of you is being creative. It's unexplainable. Sometimes I can't even, I, I can't even explain it. I, I just be like, look, you just need to get you one, Dan. If you're that interested in it, you need to just get one. I guarantee you, if you hold one, you go on to buy one. <laughs> but that's what I love about being a reborn mom is definitely the friendships, building friendships, the connection, and um, the therapeutic part of it because they are comfort. They are comfort. You can sit there and you can hold them while you're watching a movie. Even if you call, even like I said, it bring out the creative side in you. Even if you don't role play, it may be something else that you do that you probably didn't do at first. You, you probably wasn't combing the hair at first and coming up with hairstyles for a doll, you probably was not making pacify clips or doing any of those things, but now you're doing it and you're participating, you're taking part in it. So that's what I love about being a reborn mom and I do not regret it and I would not change it. And I absolutely love it. And I thank you all for listening and taking the time to be here to chill out with us on this beautiful Sunday. Yes, but that is my time, you guys. Thank you so very much, Nicole, for actually prompting this question because it does make you think, well, what is it that you love about being a reborn mom? So I am going to leave a snippet of our praise and worship from today's service on Today is just a little snippet of it, but I just want to remind you guys to be encouraged and just know that God is exalted. And with that being said, what are we going to do, boo? What are we going to do, boo? We're going to live on purpose. We're going to laugh on purpose. And we're going to love. 
We're going to love. We're going to love on purpose, you guys. Love someone with the love of God. And until the next video. Yeah.